Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to list out all the specimen you are going to use for NICO 2025 Biology Practicals. Now, if this is your first time watching this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because you have a lot to gain. With no further ado, let's get straight into the video. The specimens are as follows. Specimen A, Housefly. Specimen B, Spider. Specimen C, Pride of Barbados. That is the flower. Pride of Barbados flower. Specimen D, Bean Seed. Specimen E, butterfly. Specimen F, crayfish. Specimen G, grasshopper. Specimen H, humerus of a rabbit. Specimen I, femur of a rabbit. Specimen J, orange fruit. Specimen K, honey bee. Specimen L, land snail. Specimen M, guava fruit. Specimen N, Irish potato tuber. Specimen O, sweet potato tuber. Now, I want to give you a small explanation on some of these specimens listed, okay? Now, pay attention, all right? Now, specimen A is housefly, while B is spider. You may likely going to be asked the observable features of this specimen A and B. Probably the way they look, their body stature and everything, it can be a question that you're going to see, okay? Then also, you may be asked to state their economic worth importance. Is that okay? All right, so look at what specimen C, which is pride of Barbados flower. And D is what? Bean seed. No, this is a flower. This is a seed. There's a relationship between two of them. You should take note of that. All right? Now look at again, specimen E is what? Butterfly. We have crayfish. And we have what? Grasshopper. There's a relationship between the crayfish and grasshopper. And also, there's a relationship connecting butterfly and grasshopper. Do you understand? Now, looking at these two, crayfish lives in fresh water, while grasshopper lives in what? In fresh land or the grass or grassland. Do you understand? So, they can ask you their habitats or even their phylum. So, these are the things they can ask you under these two specimens. Hope you are getting it. Now look at this specimen. Specimen H is humerus of a rabbit. Y I is femur of a rabbit. So humerus is for the hand. Y femur is for the what? Leg. So there's a relationship connecting them. Okay. All right. So we have specimen J as the orange fruit. Okay. Then specimen K as honey bee. Look at this. This honey bee and snail. Wow. There's a relationship connecting honey bee and what? Snail. You should take note of that. Now, look at this specimen, specimen K and what? L. This is honeybee and land snail. You may be asked the differences or their habitat, okay? Habitat of honeybee and habitat of land snail. So, you should take note of that, okay? Specimen J is orange fruit. Y, M is guava fruit. You may be asked to state the placentation of these two specimens, okay? Whether they are seed or the differences or observable differences between the two specimen J and M. Okay, now you should note that for specimen J and M, they are perennial crops. Very, very important, which is what the examiner is going to ask you in this forthcoming exam. And you should also learn how to sketch the diagrams. Very, very important. Okay, now specimen N and O, we have Irish potato and Swiss potato tuber. All right. For this specimen N and O, you may be asked to state the similarities between them. Do you understand? Now, I want you to know that from this specimen listed out, all the insects listed in this specimen, they belong to the phylum called what? Arthropoda, in case you are asked. Okay. So, that's the similarities between all the insects listed in this specimen. Now, I want you to know that specimen E and what? And K which is butterfly and honeybee, they are the agents of pollination because they are the ones that are going to pollinate this flower, which is pride of Barbados flower. Do you understand? So you can see the relationship between these different specimens. If this video was able to help someone out there, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to get notified each time I post video because the full video of this specimen will be detailed explained. 
See you next time in the next one. Bye for now.